But they said they're Christian. Yeah. They don't act like it. Uh -huh. They don't live like it. They just, they just know what they mean. Yes, but God ain't stuck on this other stuff. The only thing he's stuck about is a commitment yes. with Christ. Yes. Yes. I gotta move on, but there are more shortcuts yes. to heaven. Yes. I used to think the rich gonna be there first. <laughs> but still, if I found out the rich ain't gonna make it. Yes. Can I get some help in here? Yes. The Bible says it's easier for a camel. Yes. Have you not read the scripture? Yes. They go through the eye of a neighbor. They go to a rich man. Right. They get into heaven. That's right. That tells me he's been already cut off. Uh, you know why? Because uh, his money has stopped him yeah. from re developing a relationship with Christ. Yeah. And you got to get that. Yeah. If you don't get that, you ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Amen. I don't care how many billions you got. Yeah. You ain't going to heaven with it. Yeah. Amen. It ain't needed up there. Yeah. Ain't, it, ain't it good to know we're going to a place where money ain't needed? Yeah. They don't think they'll stop paying the lottery now. Ain't nobody else going to need the money up there. Y'all ain't going to help me now. They got right. to worry about the lottery. Ain't going to be nothing up there. Amen. Forget about it. Just, just, just try to get there. Because you ain't going to need it up there. But anyway, there's no shortcuts. And, 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 and requirements apply to everyone. They ain't a whole lot of different rules. It ain't but one rule that God has put in place. Be ye holy. And I am holy. Say the Lord. Am I right about that? Follow people all mean and holy and put out. No man shall see the Lord. That ain't for a different denomination. That's for everybody. Red, white, blue, and green. Now say God ain't wrote a whole lot of different books. He only wrote the one book with 66 books and that's it. Can I get some help in here? But you find today people, people have come up with all kind of ways, schemes, have even written books themselves. Trying to amen change the word of God, but you can't change it. It's gonna be word forever. That's right. And I love this too because you find in what these individuals telling the Lord what they had done. Now watch out when people start telling you what they have done. Lord, this this then we have we cast out devils. We 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 preached and we prophesied in your name. Well Jesus ain't worried about miracles. He'd rather be concerned about his word. Uh -huh. But most people, listen, we, we, we're in that time of entertainment. Do you not, have you not noticed folk want to be entertained? Yes. You can bring folk in for entertainment and you pack the house out. Yeah, bring them in for a good stiff word and just a few show up. Uh -huh. I wish I had some happen here. It's all around us. You can see it. It is evident that people now ain't hungry for the word. Uh -huh. But they'd rather be entertained. And they'll pay to go be entertained. I'm not worried about that. They will purchase a $50 ticket and won't we'll give the church 50 cents. Hey, I wish that happened. I'm telling the truth now. And then when you talk to them about it, you better stay out my business. They'll take stay out my business. I ain't got no help in here today. But, but then these are individuals. I just believe it's phony. I'm sorry. Because when you got the heart of Christ, you find yourself doing the things of Christ. Am I right about that? But the word of God is superior to any miracle. Yeah, and we are living in a time now when people really want to be entertained. But Apostle Paul addressed that over in Timothy when he told Timothy that the day would come. And sound doctrine is nothing but what the gospel uh -huh, has been left for us to live and govern ourselves by. But ooh, everybody don't want sound doctrine. And Paul said they would develop it in it. I've never seen the time where it is now that it seems like folk looking for something but don't know what they're looking for. But I found out this if you ain't got a desire for God and His Word, you gonna keep on moving. You gonna keep jumping from church to church. You gonna keep trying to find something to make you feel good. But I come to tell somebody that the Word of God ain't supposed to make you feel good. It's supposed to crunch you so. It'll be dead to soothe you, to bring you to this I know when I'm out, there's a book set right here, and I'm one of them. When I heard the word, and it convicted me, it cut me, it made me uncomfortable.